Uh, I give give North Carolina a lot of credit. I thought they played well tonight. I thought they were uh, really ready to play. Um, obviously, the way they shoot the ball now, I think it's one of their better shooting teams, and we were certainly worried about that. Cam Johnson, I think, has been a great addition. Um, there's a lot of guys to cover, and because of that, it's it's hard to cover them all. Uh, a little disappointed the way our guys played tonight. I don't think we played very well. Um, just started the game very poorly with turnovers, some careless ones, and then couldn't make free throws, couldn't make a shot. Uh, I thought we were a little down and just kind of pouted a little bit based on our poor offense. And uh, never really never really defended like a team that, that's uh, a good team. And uh, they just they just made us pay all night. Those turnovers that you guys had, how much of it was on you? How much of it was forced? I mean, there's certainly some of it is North Carolina's defense, but there's also some of it that's just carelessness and poor fundamentals. And uh, guys just not not being mentally into it where they should be. And we got to coach them better on on the fundamentals of stepping around and passing and catching with two hands and just basic basketball. Coach, how much, did hurt, how much did it hurt you when Eli picked up that fourth foul about eight minutes left? Uh, I, I mean, it did hurt because I thought Eli was our best player tonight. I thought he was clearly the, the one guy that was ready from start to finish. And, and it hurt a little bit. Um, he, he was very focused, playing pretty well, and it, it hurt a little, but it wasn't the difference. Coach, what was the difference in the first part of the second half when you make 15 out of 16? Uh, you know what, I thought we just executed some things better. I thought we were a little more patient. Um, you know, some of his law of averages, are, we have guys that miss. We did miss some open shots in the first half, too. And, um, you know, I'm not counting on making that percentage, but uh, we just played better, settled into the game, and actually got a few stops, so now you're playing not against a set defense every time. I think that helps also. Were you pleased with the shot mm -hmm. selection in the first half? Or? Yeah, I really was. I don't think we took a lot of bad shots. I thought we had some bad turnovers. We had a few few times where we put our head down and tried a couple bad plays, but that's going to happen every once in a while. Um, we just didn't share it well enough and tried to do a few things too quickly, and, and then the poor turnovers were really frustrating. Turnovers, One point. turnovers have been an issue the last three games. What do you do over the next four or five days? To just keep talking about it. You know, it's the one thing that this team has not done as well as last year's team. Last year's team took care of the ball. We're one of the best teams in the country, low, low turnovers. and um, Some of it because we have so many guys that are aggressive, uh, we, we, we do things too quickly. And then some of it's just poor fun of those. And, uh, and we got to coach that better. This team has proven, though, that it doesn't quit. One point hitting 15 shots there yeah. in the second half. Is this something that you can build off of, the second half? Yeah, I don't know if we're at that point where we need to be like looking for all those kinds of things. You just go out and play. And we've won enough games that we know we're a good team. and We have to play really well, though, to beat a team like North Carolina and North Carolina. I mean, that's just the way it is. They're going to be ready to play us, and they are. And When they shoot it like that, they're going to be hard for teams to beat. Um, but I, I just didn't think we were at the outset. We didn't do anything to set a tone like we were a really good team coming in here to win. And uh, we just played the game, and that, that's disappointing. How close is this team to being able to come into a place like this and win a game like this? Well, we've gone to some places. We went to Ohio State and won, and we obviously uh, won in a quote-unquote neutral game in Florida. And then, uh, you know, Boston College obviously isn't a hostile environment, but it's not going to be as easy as people think to go to Boston College and win. Jimmy's doing a great job with his team. and um, So we've won some road games, true road games. Um, we just We just didn't play well enough tonight. Again, some of that's because of North Carolina. Brad, what can you say about Mark Beach's uh, performance in the second half? Him to stick with this. Yeah, it was better. He, he, I thought he was not in a good rhythm in the first half. I thought he forced some things. Um, you know, he's got to make sure that he's just gets into that rhythm. He's a he's a guy who's confident. He's not going to lose his confidence based on a bad game or a bad half. So it doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, obviously it's good to see moving forward, but we needed it at the beginning too. Is there a change in Marquise's attitude at halftime? No, he's, no. he's he's not one of those kind of guys. You don't need to you don't need to talk to him too much about stuff like that. He's he's going to go play. Coach Cam Johnson hasn't lit up a lot of teams this season, but I'm guessing you matter of time. How matter of time. Yeah, he's. I mean, he he lit up a whole lot of teams last year at Pittsburgh, uh, and so he just he's finding his way in a new program and, and getting used to playing with different players and and. Uh, you know, he's a huge dimension for them, I think, in terms of another added shooter to go along with Williams and, and uh, the rest of them. I mean, they, they, they have a good team. Luke, Luke obviously, is something 
you know, guy that I recruited extremely hard and huge fan of, and uh, obviously Joel Berry, you know, is just a really good player. And there's a lot of different guys to cover. Uh, Penson does a great job of just being the glue guy, and so their pieces fit well. That's why they have a good team. Anybody else? Good. All good.